So if we think of activity-based funding and where the clinicians fit in, to simplify this, apologies for those who have a, a deep understanding of this, how does this actually work? So we provide a service to the patient. We document this in the medical record. And as you know, this is usually done by the most junior members of the clinical staff. The medical records are then coded. That information is classified into a diagnosis-related group. And through a complex series of systems that I don't begin to understand, that information is sent back to the government. And the local health district is then funded for that activity with a few other variables, including efficiency costed in. Importantly, that data, though, is then used to generate performance reports. And that's fed back to clinicians. And that data, if correct, can be used to drive efficiency and then help with resource allocation. So understanding that process, where do the clinicians then fit in? Clinicians are obviously service providers. They're also the documenters. And because it's the junior staff doing this, they, senior staff also need to be the supervisors of this process. Now there's more communication required with coding staff, and so communication channels needed to be opened up there. The data that comes back, the clinicians need to interpret it and importantly understand it, and then use that data potentially to affect change. And then more now than ever have more input into funding allocation. So clinicians have a huge role in every step of this process along the way. And so engaging them is going to be critical to the success of implementing activity-based funding. 